Welcome back. In this lesson, we will apply appearance to our model and render it using the cloud. Let's head back to our render workspace. I'm going to expand our lamp. Search for bulb. Hitting A for appearance. I want you to dig into other emissive and for this instance I'm going to select SMD 3528 white selecting this one drag and drop to our component release selecting remove appearances applied to bodies let's check if our LED was applied by selecting in canvas render Confirmed. Luminance was applied. Let's modify and tweak the color and luminance of our light source. Scrolling up. Going to in this design. Let's right click and select edit. Let's move this slider into the shade of yellow. In between yellow and orange. Let's pick a color. The value being 224, 189, and 92 for RGB. Let's reduce the brightness for luminance into 110, 1000. Hitting done. Hitting close. Let's save our settings by heading to scene settings. Scrolling down, selecting Save as Defaults, hitting Close, heading to Named Views, right-click and select New Named View. Let's name this as Lamp. And finally, let's hit Save. In this instance, we utilize local rendering to have a quick view of our scene. In the event that we have limited hardware capabilities, then cloud rendering is our best option. To enable cloud rendering, we simply need to head up and select this teapot. In this row, we have various render settings to cater web, mobile, print, video, and custom. For this activity, we are going to utilize video and enable 720p. And this time, we will be utilizing cloud rendering. The render quality, let's set this to final. And in this type of setting, we are charged with one cloud credit. In addition, cloud credits are the unit of measurement required to perform a certain task, such as creating a rendering or running a simulation in a cloud environment using Autodesk Cloud Services. Let's now hit Render. And in order for us to have a glance of the cloud rendering status, we simply need to click this plus icon to expand our rendering gallery. Cloud render now complete. Let's hover over our thumbnail and hit the plus button. From here, we can re-render the image, render this as a turntable animation. We can apply post-processing to our image. We can download this into several file formats. We can delete this file. We can share this via Fusion 360 Gallery and A360, we have here the image info, and we can zoom this and zoom out. Hitting close. Next time, if you have limited hardware resource, then cloud is your next render solution.